Dear colleagues and friends, I'd like to start by saying what a joy it is to welcome Metropolitan Kalistos back to CUA. He has been here a number of times before. And many congratulations, Eminence, on being the recipient of our Quaston Medal. I first came to know Metropolitan Kalistos about 20 years ago when I was doing my doctoral research in Oxford. He very kindly supervised me for a term when my own director was away. The English system being rather different from our system here, there was no coursework component for the doctorate, but I nevertheless eagerly attended a number of Metropolitan Callistos's lectures, not only for the great wisdom that he imparted, but also for the sheer pleasure of the experience. I regard it as an honor and a blessing to be working once again with Metropolitan Callistos now in the context of the dialogue which we hope and pray may help to restore full communion between Catholics and Orthodox. I'd like to begin our reflections on this afternoon's theme by recalling something that is said to have happened one day in the late 1940s. The great philosopher Wittgenstein went over from Cambridge to Oxford to visit two distinguished colleagues, Elizabeth Anscombe and FLA Hart. At the end of the day, they were all together on the station platform in Oxford, deep in conversation. So deep in conversation were they that they didn't see the train pull in and only realized it was there as it began to move off. This being a time when you could still do such things, Professor Anscombe ran down the platform, managed to open a door, and jumped on. Professor Hart, likewise, ran along the platform, opened a door, and climbed aboard. Professor Wittgenstein ran along the platform, but didn't manage to get the train. He stood exhausted at the end of the platform, looking forlornly, at the disappearing train. Someone came up and said, don't worry, there's another train in half an hour. But you don't understand, he said. They were supposed to be seeing me off. <laughs> The moral of the story, it would seem, is always remember what it is you're supposed to be doing. <laughs> when Pope Benedict XVI went to Istanbul in November 2006, he and ecumenical patriarch Bartholomew said in their joint declaration that the mission, go make disciples of all nations, was today more timely and necessary than ever even in traditionally Christian countries. Our traditions, they said, represent for us a patrimony which must be continually shared, proposed, and interpreted anew. This is why we must strengthen our cooperation and our common witness before the world. What the church is supposed to be doing is proclaiming the gospel of reconciliation to the world, proclaiming Christ, who left his followers the gift of peace, a peace the world cannot give, as he himself said. The world craves peace. How urgent it is for Christians to recognize their calling to bear witness to the peace that only the Lord himself can give. Oh. 